Kenneth Arrow won the Nobel Prize in 1972. I came into his office shortly after that, got fascinated by his work, worked with him on my PhD, and in a sense I've been his student ever since. Uh, I got the Nobel in 2007 for some of that work. In the late 70s, at my first job, uh, which was at MIT, I met Jean Tirol, who, uh, who was just starting as a graduate student. He ended up working with me on his PhD, and uh, lo and behold, in 2014, he won the Nobel Prize for his work on industrial organization. There's a lot of pressure on his students right now. <laughs> I think being a good economist is just like in any profession, it's just loving your work and doing it right. Do things you believe in and then listen because there will be lots of criticism. Many of those criticisms are actually very useful to make progress. Everyone realized that industrial organization, how markets work, was a very, very important subject. But we didn't have terribly coherent or lucid ways to think about it or to do empirical work or to inform policy. And the work that Jean Tirol, his collaborators and others did, was to take us into some of the very deep issues about incentives, asymmetric information, how to regulate, depending on specifics of each industry, in a smart way to get good incentive flowing through to the benefit of consumers and the public more generally, while still the firm making a reasonable profit and the rest of it. People who do theory and develop ideas, they must be keeping in very close contact with the facts, they must know the institutional details. At the same time, the people who do the empirical work, they must have theory as a guide because the data without any theory is kind of useless, it's just correlation, so you, you want to understand the data and for that you need the theory as a lens to understand it. In economics, we traditionally have looked at markets where there are lots of competitors. Many real markets are not like that. They, they have only a few sellers. And when there are only a few sellers, uh, the analysis becomes more complicated because what General Motors does will influence Ford. So General Motors has to think how is Ford going to react to what I do? And Ford is going, has to think, well, how is General Motors going to react to what I do? Jean de developed many of the tools for understanding markets like that. And, the, and on top of that, he, unders he, he developed the tools for understanding how markets like that might have to be regulated. I hope that people looking back at my work will realize that it's part of uh, life of passion, you know, passion for research. It's also a style, and uh, my own style is to try to combine theory with uh, knowledge of the facts and institution and try to mix, because I really think that theory and empirical work are complements. I think relevance is very important, but also we have to be tolerant of people who do very abstract theory. Not everybody should do relevant stuff. I mean, this is my own taste, but I think it's very important that people understand what economics is about. It's a food chain where people supply inputs to the others and in the end uh, people are trying to make this world a better place. Thank you.